Simplify expressions involving integers. So let's just take this step by step. Uh, so we can do this in any order we want. So I'm going to go ahead and add these together and get 13. And then 13 minus 12 is easy. That'll just be 1. And then 1 minus 2, right? So here's 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So I'll just write negative 1. And we'll do more practice, but should be able to pick up the idea. So negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. I like to add them up in ways where the numbers are nice. And then negative 10 minus 10 is going to be negative 20. And then negative 20 minus 34 is just going to be negative 34. So I'll write negative 34. Okay, there's some nice cancellations here. These are going to go away. 11 minus 11. And then if I take negative 12 plus 11, I get all, almost all the way back to 1. But I'm just 1 away, so I'm at negative 1. How about this? Okay. So if I take two negative ones, oh, there's a, oh, this is tricky, right? There's a plus, a negative and a negative makes it a plus. So this negative one and this cancel out. So this whole thing is just 12. And then 12 plus 14 is 26. So the answer is 26. How about this? Oh, hooray, these cancel out. And we get 7 minus 14, which will be negative 7. Okay, let's, let's do this in a fun way. Let's do the 6 and the negative 6 here. Those cancel out. We get 12 minus 9, and we know that that is 3. Okay, how about these? Well, we've got 12 minus 2 is 10. You know what? That's not a good way of doing it. Let's do the 12 minus the 12. That goes away. And then this negative and negative become a positive 7. So we end up with 7 minus 2, or 5. Okay, how about this? All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff here. We've got a lot of double negatives. So uh, that's going to be negative 12. Well, so that's a plus 2. <laughs> and this is a minus 2, so these will cancel out. And this is a minus 12 plus 8. So that's going to be a minus 4. Okay, how about this? Well, this is going to be a plus 8. So if we want to do, we can do the 8 minus 6 first. That'll be a 2. And then we can do the 2 minus 7, which will be a negative 5. And then we can do the negative 15 minus negative 5. And that will be negative 20. Okay, let's see. Is there a fun way to add these up? Well, we'll make that a positive for starters. Let's make the minus minus a positive. The negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10. And this 3 minus 1 is positive 2. So what do you get when you put negative 10 and 2 together? 
you can think of it as 10 minus 2 or plus or minus. So it'll be 8, and then it's more negative than positive, so it'll be negative 8. All right, I bet that this will just have more, yeah, bigger numbers. So this will be a plus 24, but the 24 minus the 23 just gives us a 1. And then this will give us a positive 27. But then positive 27 minus 17 is just 10. It's just 10, right? That's not so bad. Just checking my math there. I said 10, right? Okay, guys. So yeah, play around with the orders, and it should be fun. See you next time.